Hey y'all, Irix guy here, and a lot of my fans have been complimenting me on my on my green screen. They're like, "Hey man, how do you get such good uh, chroma key, and how do you not have uh, problems with shadows or anything like that?" So I'm going to step through and show you that I actually don't have a perfect studio backdrop. It's got some imperfections, uh, and check the link within this video's description. You can find all the equipment that I use for my green screening, as well as additional information. If there's anything you don't see there, Drop me a message by way of my Facebook fan page, facebook.com forward slash irixguy, or my website, irixguy.com, and I'll try my best to answer. But let's just take a random clip that I filmed in my studio. So I'm going to drag this into my, um, oops, that project wasn't empty. So I'm just going to drag a random clip into my project here. And what I want to point out you can see my right elbow. Now when I move this, you'll see a shadow back there. See that shadow that's moving around? So I don't have, although my lighting for the budget that I'm on in my studio, although the lighting in my studio is not perfect, it's very good. So what I'm going to show you, even with that small shadow there, and even with that line, you can see right around my shoulders there's that line in the wall because I am a budget operation and my studio doesn't have a straight up and down wall. But even with that there, let me show you how good this looks. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a key effect. So to do that we'll go to effects, which is this option right here. Then we'll go to keying, which is right here. Once we're in keying we'll go to key er, and we will drag key er over to the project. Now you can see that looks good. But obviously it's not perfect. And this is where you'll really get to know your environment. Check the link within this video's description for more details about the equipment that I'm using and how I set up my environment. But knowing what I know about it, what I'll do is I'll go to my video tab and then I'll go to fill holes and I'll drag it to about 1.43. Uh, this is a setting that varies among multiple environments. I know that around 1.41, 1.43 is, is optimal for me because I always film, I keep the tripod in the, in the same location. I keep everything as consistent as possible. So I know that when I film, these results should be pretty much dead on. So now that I've, I've adjusted the fill holes, let's put in a background. So I'm going to take this. This is when I was out in the field uh, flying the Phantom. Or actually, I'm going to take this one where I was out in the field flying the Phantom. And I'm going to drag it down below. And then what I'm going to do is get past to where I'm in the video because that looks goofy. So I'm just going to go over here where it's just background with the phantom flying. I'm going to hit blade. I'm going to delete this lead in part of the clip and I'm going to drag this over. And see now what you're going to see, you see me in the field and I'm going to hit play. You see me in the field, although I'm not in the field. I filmed the field on a separate occasion and I filmed me speaking in front of my green wall in my studio. But you can see how convincing that chroma key effect is. And you're not seeing shadows. Uh, notice earlier when we were looking at the, at the background, you, you, you would see a shadow there when I moved around. But because this keying is so good within Final Cut Pro 10, you don't see that shadow. And likewise, remember there was a line because my wall's not straight up and down in my studio? You don't see that there. It's a very convincing chroma key effect. So obviously you may be filming in a studio with better lighting and equipment. You may be filming in a studio with, with less good lighting and equipment. But if you know how to adjust it, you can make a convinci convincing chroma key effect on a budget. So thanks again for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, youtube.com forward slash irixguy. And again, check the link within this video's description. I've got a lot of chroma key information that I posted there, the equipment that I use, uh, more tips and tidbits. And if you need anything else, drop me a message by way of my Facebook fan page, facebook.com forward slash irixguy. Or send me an email by way of my website, irixguy.com. I'm trying to make as many Final Cut Pro tutorials as I can. So if there's any questions you have, again, I do this daily. So if there's any questions you have, I may be able to whip up a video and address that question within a matter of minutes. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day.